Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today back here on the Amazon Fire Stick. So today we're testing out an app that supposedly cures your buffering or fixes your buffering and it's supposed to do it within a click of a button. So we're going to test it out and see. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go over to our settings and we're going to go down. We're going to hover over applications and once we're on applications, let's go ahead and click on applications. Let's come down here to manage installed app applications. As you can see, our internal space is 3.70 gigs free out of 12.86 total available storage space. So if I, if we remember that, we're going to compare that number with how much space it frees up after I run the app. So we're going to compare that number to see how much space it frees up uh, once I run this particular app. And we're also going to check our number one apps that we use daily. So let's say Freevee is one of those apps. So we're going to look at the cache specifically because those are the things that this particular app frees up in cache does kind of slow your device down not a lot but it can slow your device down so so freebie has 166 megabits of cache here so we want to make sure that that gets cleared out also with some of these other apps like um let's see haystack news 16 megabytes let me see another app that i use daily if we take a look at netflix specifically 46.81 megabits per second so if we take a look at Netflix, this one has 46.81 megabits of cache. So we want to keep this in mind, these numbers in particular, specifically the cache. Um, and we want to make sure that those numbers go down. So we want to see zero megabits or we want to see a lot lower number than what we see here. So we're going to navigate to the app that supposedly frees up a lot of space, supposedly cures buffering, supposedly you know, it makes your experience on the Amazon Fire Stick a lot better. So let's go and navigate to the app. The app itself is called Clean Shark. Um, so this app, I've seen it online. Uh, a lot of people are promoting it, saying it's supposed to, you know, cure buffering, cure any particular issues that you're having on your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's open it up and see. So I'm going to click on Clean Shark. It's a one click button type of app. So all you have to do is open the app. There's only one button that says start cleaning. So let's see what all it says it's cleaning. And then we're going to go ahead and double check those things to make sure it is cleaning those things. So let's go ahead and hit start clean on the Amazon Fire Stick. It's analyzing device storage. It says please wait. It says it's deleting. Um, it says here pictures. These are like random pictures, cell image cache. So these are cache items that it's deleting. It says it's deleting a bunch. You can see the numbers as they scroll past or the, the links here as they scroll past. It appears that there's a lot of items here that it is deleting. It's deleting old files like old APK files, anything that you've downloaded. As you can see, it's cycling here, but you can see that I did recently download the Wolf Launcher. It's deleted that APK from the download storage space. It's, it's deleted anything that would add any potential clutter on the Amazon Fire Stick. So those files, I know exactly where those files are. Those are under the Downloader app because you can see it right there. It says Downloader forward slash launch APK. So let's go ahead and check that first. So I'm gonna click on Close App. The app has run. It's basically saying that congratulations, your device now has optimal performance and we should be golden and we should be running great and smoothly. So I'm gonna hit no thanks here. And I'm going to immediately go ahead and check the downloader app. So I'm going to search for an app. It's called downloader. I already have it downloaded, but I'm going to go ahead and just navigate to it from the search bar. In the second search result, it says downloader. Click on that. And then I'm going to open this app up. It's the big orange button that says downloader. All right, so once downloader opens, you're on this screen here. And in here, there would have been files that I've downloaded before. So if I click on, on the left-hand side, if I go to files, it should be in here. So one thing about Clean Shark, it did manage to clean those files. So that's definitely a plus. There were files in here. I should have shown that before, but they were files in here because I've recently used it to download the launcher and a few other apps. And it says no files found in downloader folder, which means there's no open downloaded files. So that's definitely a plus. If I click the home screen, let's go ahead and go back to the settings where we were. 
I'm hovered over settings. I'm going to go down to applications. Let's check the internal space. If I go down to manage installed applications, um, maybe possibly it needs to refresh, but we did gain 0.1. Uh, so that's not much. So once again, these are cache files. So normally cache files are not large, but it did add 3.71 instead of 3.70. So, so it did do something. Even though it didn't do much, it did do something. So that's definitely a plus. Is it going to make a difference in performance? Probably not, but it, it, it did do something. So if I go to manage installed applications, I'm just going to navigate to some of those apps that I showed you before. Let's cycle down here. If I go down, let's uh, hover over Freevee. So we still have 166 megs on Freevee. Let's go ahead and check Netflix. We still have 46.81 megs on Netflix for the cache. And on downloader, I still have 30.31 megs on the cache for a downloader. Um, so a lot of these apps still do have a lot of cache files and in here if I was to just clear my cache using the buttons that we have available within the operating system on the Amazon Fire Stick at the top right hand corner it says press the rewind button to clear the cache so if I was to just click the back button and go ahead and wipe this cache for Disney Plus that would be more effective just to use the built-in operating system to clear the cache versus the clean shark app so the clean shark app once again it does work but it's not working in the way that it's advertised or being promoted as far as being a one-stop shop to really maximize the performance of your device you'll have better luck using an app called Def Squid. You'll have a better luck of using the app called Background Apps and Processing. Or you would have better luck just using the built-in operating system, manage installed applications, and coming in here and clearing your cache straight from the Fire TV operating system. So you would have better luck with that. As you can see, the cache is set to zero. And if you just went down one by one and did that for each app, that would save you a lot more time than the one-stop shop clean shark app um, so that's definitely clean shark app it's definitely not a one-stop shop but if you were to use it it will free up a tiny bit of space but you're not going to notice any type of performance increase so definitely keep that in mind i would not recommend clean shark once again i recommend def squid or the app called background apps and processing list or just use the built-in tools that we have here on the fire tv I hope this was helpful. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.